UK Partners, Powering Possibility. Um, after a significant time of nearly two decades working in investment banking and global capital markets, due to the de-risking exercise that I was exposed to, we felt there was a real opportunity to support local market enterprises, commerce, financial institutions to reconnect with the global markets um, that had been disconnected uh, due to various regulatory and credit pressures that large institutions were facing. So we saw an opportunity to be able to get access uh, for these entities using our know-how, knowledge and experience of banking throughout the years. And after nearly four years and now into our fifth year, we've been a significant liquidity provider in providing hard currency, euro, dollars and sterlings into those markets where it's difficult to get hold of due to various restrictions that they have with central bank and policy but also embracing the advent of stablecoin to be able to clear currency in a much more efficient way. At DKK, we pride ourselves on three key principles. Quick, secure and access. Quick, because we understand the pressures that businesses face on settling invoices and managing their working capital cycle. Secure, being ex-bankers, moving value, and money and currency needs to be incredibly safe to give the client confidence that delivery is made on time and also the fact that money actually reaches the place it needs to get to. So we put a heavy emphasis on our compliance and governance infrastructure. And access, being able to aggregate significant number of liquidity partners globally, it's a one-stop shop for the people that operate and work with us. So quick, secure access is our philosophy and that's how we achieve it. The industries that we basically support can be categorized into four main areas. First, import exporters, commerce, global trade, those that are basically importing FMCG, goods, services into those frontier markets, those high paced, fast growing economies that need access to liquidity to service their working capital cycle. NGOs, non-government organizations, microfinance companies that basically are trying to make people's lives better. The time criticality of getting money into the hands of the right people and the aid workers can actually save lives. And we're super grateful that we're able to support those type of organizations. Non-bank financial institutions and financial institutions. As we know, some of the smaller and local banks are at the mercy of working through larger corresponding banking networks, which are both clunky and also highly selective. Being giving them access to our liquidity pool then basically takes that problem away from them and then they can serve their customers accordingly. And then finally, digital exchanges. Due to the advent of stablecoin and our ability to source USDT and USDC incredibly effectively, we are then able to work with digital exchanges to basically do the various on and off ramping, which has become super, super crucial in clearing currency, especially in these frontier markets. Digital assets has exploded over the last 10 years, and there are a variety of asset classes that people are very familiar with. Bitcoin, Ethereum, various type of coins and tokenization. DKK focuses in complementing traditional capital markets, and therefore our digital offering is around stablecoin, USDT, and USDC. We are fortunate to have a direct relationship with Circle that allows us to basically access the asset class at incredibly low costs. And Tether, we have a very strong relationship having worked with them for the last four years in delivering digital asset currency, particularly settling those suppliers in China and the Far East, where the acceptance of such value has become very common into their wallet system and infrastructure. So, from our perspective, we've seen a nice blend between the traditional FX markets and the stablecoin market as well. And hence, that's the ability to us to off and off ramp. Typically, in terms of volume, we process anything between 300 to 400 million dollars of stablecoin each year. So we don't see the trend uh, dropping at any stage whatsoever. And luckily for DKK, we're in four of the five most utilized markets for stable coins today. We 
were looking for a home for our digital asset business and the Middle East is an incredibly exciting time uh, in the way that the new economy and the dawn of digital assets being a medium of currency transfer and value. We looked at various areas and countries such as Bahrain, Abu Dhabi that have started their digital programs and we were informed of VARA, the Virtual Assets Regulatory Authority, where Dubai was basically looking to be the center for digital asset best practice, excellence and clearing. And for us, it's a real game changer because it allows us to actually give our digital asset facility a real home, uh, somewhere where we can really leverage and bring real empowerment to local economies, but also to the clients we support today in a much more structured and regulated way, hence bringing clarity, confidence and control to the people we work with, the banks we work with, and most importantly, the clients that come to basically access our facilities. So it's a real, real game changer for us, and we're super happy that we achieved our initial approval from VARA, and we're progressing very well to basically work towards full approval.